it's your girl Tamkin Spice and I'm back to talk to you about something very, very important. It is these brows. Can you tell that my brows are tattooed? If not, that means they've been done very, very well. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about microblading. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting it done. You're thinking about getting it done. I think you should get it done. We'll talk about what is it, the process, the cost, and how often we're going to be maintaining it, and whether or not I'm happy with the results. And I'm just going to tell you up front, I love my, my eyebrows. My eyebrows are amazing. The person that you select to do your microblading needs to be a licensed professional. It's really important that you look at their work and make sure that you really like the style that they're doing. There's a couple of different styles out there. I personally chose to go with Bisou Cosmetic Tattoo. I'm going to link her information below. And the reason I chose her is because she does freehand microblading to where she actually goes with the natural direction and texture. The way that your natural hair grows is what she's going to follow and she fills in what needs to be filled in for a really natural look. That's personally what I wanted. She does all kinds of microblading. She also does ombre powder tattoo. That wasn't really the look I was going for. So I opted away from it. But microblading is just basically taking a very thin blade and tattoo ink with sushi uses very special trademark ink that is her secret ingredient. Just like a tattoo will cut into your skin and make sure that that ink gets in there. Each and every one of these hairs have been tattooed because naturally my eyebrows end right here. All of this has been tattooed. I just want to take a step back to show you what I mean by my eyebrows ending as they come closer to my nose. So you can see on the top, that is my before picture, that my eyebrows really do get thinner as they get closer to my nose. So in the bottom picture, Sue filled in my eyebrows to exactly what I wanted. I'm going to fix my hair a little bit. Microblading is the process of taking a very fine blade and freehand tattooing and slicing into your eyebrow area every single hair on its own is going to be an individual tattoo. Ombre powder tattooing is the same where they layer on the pigmentation using the powder and do the same form of micro stippling in order to get that ink and that pigmentation into your brow. A lot of times people like to have a darker outer corner and fade into a light inner corner. For me, it was quite the opposite. I naturally had very dark outer corners and almost no brows on the inner corner, which is why I went ahead and I got freehand microblading by Sue Cosmetic Tattoo in order to get my inner corners to look a lot more full. So once you come in, she's going to assess your face. And what she'll usually do is she'll mark you up. And she will ask you if you're comfortable with how she has marked your new eyebrows to look like. And when you agree upon a shape, what she's going to do is she's going to apply tons of numbing cream. She's going to make you lay down and have numbing cream all over your brows. She's going to offer you some Korean tea, some Korean snacks. That's just because that's what Sue does. She's so cute. She's going to offer that you use her Hello Kitty themed bathroom, which is amazing. In the meantime, you can talk to her about life and she's really awesome. Me and her love having chats about, you know, how are we doing on our keto diet? Her timer is going to go off. She's going to check on your brows. She's probably going to wipe them down, mark them up. And when she marks them, she makes sure that she is symmetrically mapping how your brows are supposed to be on your face. When she's marked your brow, what she'll do is she'll get the pigment ready and then she'll see how you feel. If you're having too much sensation right at the beginning, she will numb you some more, wait another 10 minutes and come back. You really shouldn't feel anything. Probably feel the pressure of the strokes, but you shouldn't feel pain. If you feel pain, say something. You need to be able to speak up and say, hey, I feel pain. My numbing hasn't kicked in yet. Please, can we take some more time? Once she does a first pass on your face, she's going to wipe off all the ink. And once she wipes that ink off, she's going to ask you what you think of your current results. You're going to look at the mirror. You're going to think, hmm, do I want this point a little more arched? Do I want my tails a little longer? Do I want more volume on my inner corner? 
am I overall happy with the shape? Do I want them thicker? I would say if it's your first time getting microblading, err on the side of caution, less is more, you can always add more later. Don't go crazy in the beginning because that can be a problem. Sue offers her first touch up for free in two months, so don't even worry about it. Just like let your brows heal at this point. She will provide you an antibiotic ointment that you need to apply to your brows a few times a day just to keep them moist. It's gonna look like Vaseline. You're just gonna keep that antibiotic ointment on your brows every couple of hours, just reapply until you run out, which is gonna be in a couple of days. The healing process is gonna be really, really interesting. So day one, right as soon as you get your brows done, you're gonna walk out and you're gonna look in the mirror and be like, oh, these brows look good. Oh, sexy mama. <laughs> day you're gonna notice that they are looking a little larger and a little thicker and a little darker you're gonna be like hmm I think they're scabbing they are scabbing and they're gonna get worse the next day you're gonna look in the morning and you might just be like what have I done what is going on with these big ass eyebrows right now because for me so this most recent time when I got them done a little bit stronger the next day I was like oh Oh my God, what have I done? They were just like, I felt like they were this big. I felt like they just looked like. There's a pretty well-known sequence of events where they say that right when you get them done, you say you think they're perfect. The next day, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe they're how big they are because they're swelling. They're actually growing in area because of the swelling. And on top of that, they're scabbing. So each of those little, 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 line tattoos is going to scab and the scab is going to be really really dark it's way darker than the pigment that's used and then once they start scabbing even deeper they get even darker and even bigger and then like a couple of days later they actually start flaking and peeling off which you gotta be really careful. Keep it moist with that antibiotic ointment because you don't want them to flake off in big chunks and take that pigment with it. You wanna just kind of slowly shed off the scabbing if you can. And then once you're completely healed, I would say give it a couple of weeks, get used to your new look. If you feel like you want more eyebrow at that point, hit up your girl. So I called Sue about two months after and I went back to see her and she looked at me and she was like, I don't think you need a touch up. And I was like, I don't think so either. And so I just skipped my touch up. And then I went back in another six more months and that wasn't because I needed a touch up, but that was more because I wanted like thicker, like brows. Like I wanted like a stronger look. And that's where I'm at right now with my current brow. It's been about a year since I first got my brows microbladed. And it's been six months since my last touch up. And I am, super happy i'm really really happy with my results i recommend her to everybody her prices are listed on her instagram i'm gonna link it right here um check her out she's amazing and she's super sweet and i really appreciate like being able to go to her and just like it's really nice there are dangers of microblading i guess you can get infected if you don't go to someone who's licensed and someone who's clean and someone who's using the right products and a clean blade sue does she shows you her blade and she says hey i am opening a blade for you and then she opens it and then she throws it away when she's done so she doesn't reuse her blade the risk is potentially for you to get infected another risk is you go to someone that's cheap and inexperienced and you can end up like botched <laughs> You need to really see their work and be like, hey, I really love how you're doing eyebrows on other people and I'm comfortable trusting my face with you to the point where I will allow you to tattoo my face. I would say that that's even a greater risk than the infection is like you getting a fucked up eyebrow. <laughs> I paid $250 about for my microblading. I think her touch-ups are free in the first two months. And then after six months, it's like 120 bucks. But anyways, I don't wanna talk about her prices. Please go check out her Instagram. She has her prices there. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I paid for my services and this is an honest review. You don't have to worry about me just like slanging stuff. This is a real review. This is real shit on this channel. This channel is for you. For all the services I shop for, because I want you to know what you're getting yourself into. If you do end up getting your microblading done, 
leave a comment below and let me know what your experience was like. Tell me whether or not you had pain because I did have people go who are terrified of feeling any sort of pain and they were like, I felt absolutely nothing and that's how it should be. And I've had people who went in there, felt a little bit of pain, but were too scared to say something and they didn't get extra numbing because of it. Leave me a comment, tell me about your experience. If you want more cool videos on tools and tech for body and beauty and wanna know about all the other stuff that I've been exploring, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I really appreciate your support and I appreciate you watching my videos. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.